I gotta get my notes out because I gotta be timely tonight. And I preached for 47 minutes a couple weeks ago, so that was not a good look. In December of 2021, Pastor Mark, in a moment of absolute lunacy, asked me and my wife if we would step out and launch the Okatee campus officially. Um, But truth be told, God planted uh, a dream in my heart as a young man to plant a church. Uh, And my vocation is is church. I joke around a lot that I don't have any marketable skills. There's not a lot of businesses looking for a pastor. But God brought that dream to fruition when Pastor Mark asked us that question. So in January of last year, we shared that, that vision with the rest of the Cornerstone Church family, and little by little, for whatever reason, people began to follow. We met as a core team in March of 2022 with monthly meetings through the spring. We launched neighborhood outreaches and power-up clubs and a mailer campaign to prepare the way. And on August 28th, 2022, two weeks before our official launch, We gathered for the first time as Cornerstone Church Oakety Campus at River Ridge Academy with 55 people on our core team. If you were there on August the 28th, would you please stand at this moment? Hold on, hold on, don't don't clap for him yet. Don't clap for him yet. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know you're excited to celebrate what God is doing, but I want to read something to them. Romans 10, 14, and 15 says this. But how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they have never heard about him? And how can they hear him unless someone tells them? And how will anyone go and tell them without being sent? That is why the scriptures say, how beautiful are the feet of the messengers who bring good news. Thank you for being the messengers who bring good news. You can clap for them, please. You can have a seat. See, without the 55 people who followed, we would not be here speaking with you today. So we officially launched services on September the 11th, 2022. And since launch, that core team of people has grown to an average of 101 kids, children, and volunteers who call the Okatee campus home. We've seen 46 first-time guests, and 74 people serve as a member of our volunteer teams who begin at 8 a.m. and roll out at 12.30 p.m. every Sunday. We set up chairs. Some of us scrub those chairs. I don't know if you know this, but kindergartners through eighth graders don't know how to drink milk from a box. We know it's true. And so we have a team of volunteers who scrape gum off of cafeteria tables. They scrub the milk off of the chairs. We have people who set up and prepare our coffee every week. We have people who bring the donuts. That's right, we have donuts. We have a team who is running our tech tonight. That's our Okati campus team. Uh, they, they showed up today to help set up alongside staff and a few band members and, and to get everything ready for us tonight. This equipment, as Pastor Mark mo- mentioned, is, is the equipment we use. And I want to share a fun story with you. On, on March 5th, we baptized five people, our first five baptisms. And on March 5th, our trailer was involved in an accident where it ended up on its side. It contained most of the equipment that you see right here and now. The stage, the speakers, the screen, the projector, all of it. And we are able to continue to worship because it's still functioning. And God has provided a new shiny black trailer out there for us as well. See, You see, the the key to our growth and the key to our success in the future is not that we would have a bigger building here at the farm just to to welcome more people here. we got to go out. And so I wanted to share that Romans 10 passage with you. How beautiful are the feet of those who have been sent. 
I'm so excited about what God is doing as he sends us out to fulfill the mission to lead people into a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. There's still much work to do and still a lot ahead of us, and our God is providing inroads to share the goodness and grace of Jesus in Okatee. I'd love for you to pray about partnering with us in a couple of ways. One is, um, if you wouldn't mind, uh, pray for us and consider joining us in our next neighborhood outreach, which we're going to be planning for later this spring. Uh, Begin praying for a permanent home in our target area of the intersection of Argent Boulevard and Highway 170. We are in a holding tank until God opens the door for us to be in Okatee proper. And so be praying hard for us that God would open the door at Okatee Elementary School for a time. And then that he would open up a community partnership for us to have a permanent home right there in the heart of Okatee. Be praying for um, and considering how you may join supporting our multi-site strategy in the future because the day is coming where we will launch campuses from Hilton Head to Hardyville. And God is going to call more of us to go and share the goodness and grace of Jesus Christ with our neighbors way beyond 2025. Thank you so much for your time. I want you to celebrate what God is doing on our Okatee campus by checking out this video.